baby, won't you meet me by the beach? Early, baby, later, you can show me things. What's up you guys? It's Alyssa here back with another video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back with another video. And today's video is all about how to overcome limiting beliefs. Changing your mindset from limiting beliefs to limitless positivity. We're talking about all things positivity throughout this video. How to exclude doubt, get rid of anything that's holding you back throughout life, blocking your blessings, whatever it might be, and becoming the individual that God has desired for you to be throughout this life. But before we get into the video, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe to each girl's channel for some bonfire lit content okay and let's jump right on into the video all right so the first tip that I have for you guys is to exclude doubt now a lot of us may deal with doubt throughout our lives we have dealt with doubt throughout our lives with imposter syndrome or just different things throughout our lives that we deal with on a regular basis so when you doubt doubt your ability or doubt God's ability not only are you blocking your blessings but you are blocking the fact that of you becoming a better individual you're allowing negativity to win so when you block your blessings you're prolonging the process of actually starting or beginning the process in general see sometimes us individuals including myself it takes a long time for us to start things because we're too busy doubting we're too busy feeling insecure we're too busy feeling unqualified when god qualifies us all God is the one who qualifies us. I heard this before. I know you probably heard this before plenty of times before, whether it was in a sermon or a quote or whatever it might be, but we are qualified by God. Not within our own ability, but the man above ability. So it's hard sometimes. I know when we deal with doubt and we're doubting, oh, I don't know if I'm enough or I don't know if I deserve this or I'm right for the position or I'm right to be a leader or whatever you want to do throughout this life. Let go of doubt. Stop doubting your ability. Stop doubting what you can do. With God, you can do all things. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So don't have that limiting belief of doubt. Let go of doubt. And back to what I was thinking about prolonging the process and, you know, blocking the, your blessing is the fact of starting the process. Sometimes it takes a long, too long for us to even start the process because, we're too, like I said, we're too busy doubting. We're afraid to start the business because we're afraid about what people will say. We're afraid to go out and try out for the team because we're afraid about what people will say. Oh, we think that we're not enough. Oh, we don't know if we can do it or not. Distrust God. Take that leap of faith. Take the leap of faith and keep on going. This is not something that, you know, happens overnight either. But at the same time, it is possible. Think of all the positive, all the positive possibilities. There's endless possibilities to this. There's endless possibilities. There's no telling what good can come out of if you just start the business. Or if you just start the YouTube channel. Or if you just start posting the video or the post or whatever you want to do throughout this life. If you just go out for the team or the football team or the basketball team or the tennis team. If you just apply for that application for your job. Apply for that application for school. Stop doubting yourself. Let go of doubt. You can do it. With God, you can do it. And he's always there for you. So let go of doubt. The next tip that I have is to listen to God. Now, there's a such thing of us, you know, like I was saying before, we might be afraid to go after what the dream that God has literally placed on our heart. God is telling you to do something, and but you won't obey because you may be worried or have fear of certain things. It's time for us to release that and let that go. Now, some of us might feel inadequate to or incompetent, you know, against or, or you know, compared to other things. Or compare it to this person or compare it to whatever it might be but you are enough listen to what God says listen to God what does God say about you I say it throughout my videos a lot it's literally what God says focus on what God says about you see yourself through the eyes of Christ see yourself how God sees you you may feel like you know I can't do X Y and Z because of what she says or what he says or I can't do it because you know it might be too much for me to do or I don't have this type of background or I have this type of background or you know I've done too much I made too many mistakes so no 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 God can still use you you can still be a vessel for God God can still use you for the greater good for the goodness of his kingdom he can still use you so listen to god what does god say about you that's mainly what matters 
like for example like if we allow all that negativity to dwell within our minds it continually takes control of us and that's not what we allow we're not allowing negativity to take control we rebuke the enemy in the name of rebuke all that negativity in the name of jesus and we getting rid of that it's about allowing positivity throughout our lives and remember to listen to the holy spirit as well we have to listen to the holy spirit if the Holy Spirit is tugging on your heart for you to do something, or if God is telling you to do something throughout this life, listen, 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 listen. God knows what's best for us. We may think we know everything, but at the end of the day, God knows. And like I said, we have to listen to God when it comes to accomplishing the things that we want to accomplish throughout this life. Like God loves you and he is there for you. And he wants you to be abundant to think abundantly you know let's talk about that because it's about thinking abundantly thinking positively and having faith and trust in god like you know what it is going to work out i am enough i am fearfully and wonderfully made let's state scripture over our life god has plans to prosper me not to harm me to give me a plan and a future i'm the head and not the tail nothing in all creation can separate me from the love of god all things work together for the goodness of and the purpose that god has called us to for those who love God. I didn't say that scripture correctly, but it's in the book of Romans. But at the same time, like, state God's word over your life. And once you start stating scripture and start stating those positive, positive, you know, statements over your over yourself, and you start saying it out loud or saying it in your mind, you start thinking positively. Eventually, you will start believing it. The next thing that I want to talk about, you have to get rid of things that are draining you so you can be more energetic. It's about being energetic. I'm not talking about like the personality type thing. I'm talking about energy just in general. You have to fill up your cup. So fill up your cup with God's word. You know, your cup overflows. You lack nothing with God. Like it says in Psalms 23 or the 23rd Psalm. Literally your cup overflows with Christ. So fill up your cup with God. Go to God. Make sure you're reading this word and doing what you need to do to fill up your cup spiritually. Let's talk about excluding different things that might be holding you back, whether it's individuals, whether it's certain toxic habits, relationships, whatever it might be. Whatever is toxic in your life and things that are not bettering you as an individual, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. You went through it. You allowed it. But you are aware of it. You're aware of it now. And you recognize it now. So now it's time for you to address it. Now I'm not talking about addressing it in like a way of being, you know disrespectful but address it in a respectful way whichever way whether it's relationships and, and different friendships whether it's toxic habits that you just have in general whether you're scrolling on your phone too much whether you're eating not the things you're not supposed to be eating or that you know it's not going to help you with your health in general but like i said do all those things in a way that's going to help you and better you it's about bettering you at the end of the day growing evolving glowing glowing through christ like it says in the book of philippians let's talk about thinking positively and just things positive in general like you have to place your thoughts or think on such things that are true noble pure think on the truth so if those th particular things i just mentioned do not align with the truth it's time for you to make a decision be like you know what that's not aligning with what God wants to do. And nobody is perfect. Nobody's helping one thing. Nobody is perfect. But if you're aware that something is not working out right within your life and you know you need to change it or you have the ability to change it, why not? So whatever is draining you and it's taking away your energy, you need to get rid of it. You need to get rid of it so you can take care of yourself. This goes for emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically. All area aspects of your life and your health in general. Because you are a part of God is the main priority. He's the first priority. But don't remember that you are a priority as well. Taking care of yourself. Taking care of God's creation. We are a temple. Remember our bodies are a temple. The fourth tip that I have is to use your brain as a messenger and not a controller. This is a big one. It's going to be like a little chatty chatty one right here see our brains are literally like signals or gives us signs whenever we are feeling some type of emotion so it would like 
it's no telling how your brain may just signal you that something might be going on. Almost like flight or flight, that comes in play as well. Also too, there's some logic that comes along with it as well too. There's a logical component that comes along with your brain signaling things to you as well. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the brain real quickly. The brain signals how you feel emotionally and physically. Like when you touch something, like when you touch my skin right now, you get a feeling. The brain signals and tells you when something is rubbing up against you or touching you. Or when the temperature of your body changes. For example, like when you're running a fever or when you're too cold, your body signals that to you and lets you know, like, oh, it's kind of cold out here. Or, oh, I'm not feeling well. Whether you're low or you feel down as well. as like when it comes to the psychological point as well, whether you're down or you're low or someone says something to you that may trigger something or that may knock you off a little bit. you like, you know, like that person said that to me. This is how it makes me feel like emotionally. So it's like the emotional part and the physical part. Now let's get a little deep because I know that a lot of us may have suffered different things from our past, you know, so the brain holds memories, prime memories of your past. Maybe you dealt with past situations, certain things in the past that may have affected you in different ways. Your brain holds memories, so maybe something might trigger that when you are dealing with a certain situation or someone says something to you the wrong way or whatever it might be, certain things may trigger and bring up things from the past within your mind. Like I said, your brain holds memories. And then your brain has knowledge and certain things to retain information as well. Moral of the story is, your brain is a special tool. A beautiful tool that God has allowed for us to just have in general. Like, the brain is something so beautiful. It's a beautiful tool and a beautiful form of God's creation and, and the body. I don't know much about it, but I do know something about psychology, you know, and it's just the fact that the brain is such a beautiful thing in general. But at the same time, we should not allow things like fear, sadness, and, you know, just feeling low in general, whether it's anxiety, whatever it might be, to control us. We should not allow things like that to control us at all, you know? So don't allow your brain to control you in a way that whenever you do feel sad or when you do feel fearful or you do feel anxiety, whatever it might be for you, because I've dealt with depression and anxiety before, but let's try to use our brain as a messenger and not the controller. Don't let those feelings, don't let those emotions, don't let those negative thoughts control you. Now your feelings are valid. That is absolutely accurate and true. Your feelings are valid and our emotions are a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to have emotions. But sometimes our emotions do not align with the truth. It doesn't align with the truth of God or just the obvious truth just in general. It does not align with the truth. You may feel low, you may feel alone, but you're not alone. You're not alone physically, and you're sure not alone because God is always with you. So we have to literally allow our brains to be the tool and the messenger for us. It is a beautiful thing, but don't allow it to control you. Do not allow your feelings to control you, those negative thoughts to control you. Because the actions that come from this, you're anxious, you're fearful, you're sad, you stay curled up in a ball in bed, you don't want to do anything. Come a person who has literally done this before. You don't want to, you know, get out of bed. You don't want to maybe eat anything. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. But don't allow those things to control your actions, to control you as a whole in general. This is your sign right now, whoever is watching this video, to get up. Get up and just be a light. Be that individual who is not giving up. Get up and don't give up. Get up and do not give up. And let's get back into this because sometimes our brain may need nourishment. Like I said, our brain is a messenger. It lets us know when our brains need nourishment or when our brain needs something. If you are in a toxic environment and let's say you're in a toxic situation, maybe your brain is telling you that you need some peace, that you need to, you know, focus on you. Maybe you need more healthier foods or sleep. Like we should not allow I don't know what it is for you, but what it is for you in those aspects of what you might need in all aspects, whether it's spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or physically, because it all plays a role and how not necessarily your brain, but how our body works in general. But the main thing I want to say is the fact that you not let your brain control you, like I said before. But what does, you can't allow it to control you, is allow the Holy Spirit. Let's get into that. I know I'm talking about God that was in this video today, but I'm sorry. It connects to the psychological part as well. Like, 
Do not allow your brain to just control you overall. Allow the Holy Spirit in. Allow God to heal you. Allow God to deliver you. So you might feel down, but you know that you can get up and you know that you can keep on going. You might feel fearful, but you know that you don't have nothing to fear. Because God is always with you. He's always there for you. You can trust him and have, continue to have faith. Or take the leap of faith if you're trying to do something, but you're fearful of what could go wrong. Think of what can go right. There's so many different answers that can play in, the Holy Spirit can play in. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us to help us and guide us and lead us. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. And it reminds you how strong you are in Christ. Now let's go back to the rain real quickly. The fifth tip that I have is to retrain your mind. Like it says in Romans 12 too, do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It starts up here. That is important. Your mind, like train your mind with positive thinking. Think positively. Like I said, I know I'm talking about this a lot, but it's literally biblical. It's in the Bible of what it says. God knows that we not only he created us with a brain, so he knows that we're gonna have certain thoughts, or certain negative thoughts, or certain things that's pop up in our mind. That's why we have that that particular scripture is literally what literally helps us to understand that we need to train our mind with positive thoughts. We do. Like it says in scripture, like first of all, we need to recite scripture over our mind, like I said earlier within this video. But secondly, like it says in the Bible, put on the armor of God so we can fight against the enemy's schemes. The Bible, literally, scripture is literally like I said before. I keep saying it, I said these things, but I'm gonna keep saying it again. The weapon to fight against the enemy's schemes. It is. It is breathing life. The Bible is breathing life. It really is. It helps us. God knew we needed something to help us to get to what we're dealing with. You feel low, open up your Bible. You feel fearful, open up the Bible. There's a scripture literally for everything. There are certain things within the Bible that people have gone through to help us and that we're dealing with to this day. It may not be the exact thing, but it's similar in certain aspects because it can literally help us in certain situations that we might be dealing with throughout this life. Whether you're in a waiting season, a stagnant season, a still season, a season of, you know, maybe loneliness, maybe you feel lonely, but you're not. Because you're not alone, God is always with you. Don't tell them what it might be. Whatever season you are in throughout this life, there is something for it. God can really help you through it. And back to retraining the mind, like, think positively. Like, you can do it. Think of the bright side of things. And the next tip that I want to say is the fact that comparison is holding you back. I know it's difficult. We look at social media, and let's not just talk about social media because it can be other aspects as well. Like whether you see someone on TV, which is, I don't know if that's considered a part of social media or not. It's kind of just television before social media came about itself. But at the end of the day, I know what it's like to, you know, look at certain people throughout your life. Whether it's someone, yes, your friend or whoever it might be, whoever you might be. We compare ourselves to so many different people throughout our lives. We have, we all may deal with it. But it can hold us back. Like literally, like I said, it is a thief of joy. It will literally rob you of your joy. Like we need to focus on our own lives. This is like we need to focus on the fact that what God is doing throughout our own lives. Yes, you can care for people or whatever you want to call it. But also don't forget to take care of yourself and to focus on you as well. Now, this is hard because I know a lot of us, we see other people online, whether it's all plastered all over the internet, what someone has done or what someone has accomplished, or whatever, it's, that does not mean that it's not coming for you. God is in the neighborhood. God is always there. He's there for all of us. And we all have our own journey. We all have our own journey throughout life. So please remember that and just understand that your time is coming to the point to where you're going to reach your goals and your dreams are going to come true. Just keep on having faith in God. God is there for you. The seventh tip that I have is to detox internally. So what do I mean by this? Maybe you need to heal or overcome some things. So maybe you need to start reading books, reading the Bible, of course, journaling, diving into prayer, whether it's fasting, whatever it might be. Remember to just... Detox internally. Detox yourself. Like we need to detox physically. Whatever aspect it might be. Maybe you are holding on to things from the past. Whatever it might be. I don't know what it is for you. But detoxing is very important. And I do want to say too. Like I said. Take care of yourself. You have to take care of you. 
and I know it can be hard sometimes. Maybe you have kids, maybe you have a, a job, or maybe you feel like you don't have time for you or have time to spend time with God, whatever it might be. You can literally make something so small, like something small out of it. Like even if it's just five minutes a day of you catering to yourself or it's five minutes a day reading your Bible, five minutes a day praying to God, whatever it might be, it's enough. You feel like you can't do five minutes, do, you can do double tasks. You know, pray while you're cooking, pray while you're washing the dishes, or listen to worship music while you're washing dishes or while you're cleaning. You know, tell them what you can do. It all counts. And God knows your situation. He knows your situation. So don't feel alone like God is mad at you or anything. Like, no, he's not mad at you. He's not. So he can help you through it. The eighth tip that I have is you have to want to crave improvement. You have to want, you have to be hungry for it. Hungry for it. Like, I'm not talking about obsession. Like, no. Not obsession to the point to where you just, you can't function. Like, no. You have to want it for you. This helps with discipline, accountability. Like, it's so many different answers that goes along with this. But you have to want it badly. Like, you have to be hungry for it. And it's not about hustling. It's about you just knowing that you have a purpose and you're willing to strive for it. It's not about being hard on yourself. It's not about being too hard on yourself at all. And I know tough love can play a role sometimes, but there's also a time for you to be like, you know what, this draws the line or it's crossing my boundaries or I know I need to take care of me first, you know, but Craving improvement is also important in all aspects of you taking care of yourself to you going after the goal of your dreams to you blocking out fear, whatever it might be. You have to want to improve yourself. You have to make that decision like, you know what, starting today, I'm going to start improving myself. Even just one thing, drinking four bottles of water a day or however many bottles of water that you know you're supposed to drink. I don't know the exact amount. But I'm going to drink a lot of water throughout the day, whether you're making a healthy breakfast every single day for a month to start out whether you are choosing to read your bible for 15 minutes a day it still counts and the last tip that i have is you can do it it's possible it's not going to happen overnight nobody is perfect that's one thing i want to say it's not going to happen overnight i know i just said all these things about being positive and all this type of stuff and having limitless positivity I know it's hard to be positive. Let's talk about mental health because your girl has dealt with some mental health struggles. But these are things that do help me on a daily basis. On a daily basis. And I want you to know that I still struggle to this day. Every single day where I wake up and I'm just like, you know what? It's not it. But you know you have to retrain your mind. Do I have days when I still go throughout the day and I still don't feel good? I still don't feel like it, you know? Yes, I do. But it's about getting back up and still striving and keeping on going. And knowing that there's endless possibilities, greater possibilities. Possibilities are endless, like limitless positivity. Do not listen to those limiting beliefs. Do not listen to negativity. Do not listen to the enemy. None of that. Just remember to keep going and to keep God first. And remember that you can change your mindset. It starts with the mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel for some bonfire and lit content. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!